What up YouTube? How are we feeling today? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing fantastic. I'm back with another short Division 2 video because a lot of y'all are asking why is the PTS not on console and only on PC? And Division came out with an official statement talking about we have seen a number of players on console recently express a disappointment in being unable to participate in the PTS. We'd like to share a moment to share some insight into why the PTS is run exclusively on PC. So let's dive into this article and see why they only have it on PC. Although they explained it a few times already, now we have a written statement so everybody knows why it will not be on consoles and only on PC. So let's open this up real quick. So, why is PTS running on PC only? Hello, we have seen a lot of questions from console players asking why they are unable to partake in the PTS. So we want to share our insight into the reason we have chose to run the test exclusively on PC. We are very grateful for the persistent interest our console community have shown. And we want you to know that this decision is based on a lot of factors and has nothing to do with prioritization one platform over another. Console certification process. To deploy updates on a console, we need to go through a process called certification. Certification is when an update is thoroughly tested and must match a list of requirements to guarantee a high quality gameplay experience. This, of course, takes time to ensure that the PTS fits all requirements. Due to the nature of the PTS, updates deployed can be particularly unstable or do not represent the overall quality of the game. This might add time to the overall certification process, eventually slowing down bug fixing and the implementation of community requested features. Quick updates. Since PC builds do not have to go through the certification process, this allows us to react to the community feedback swiftly and deploy updates faster and more efficiently. Unfortunately, on console, it would take twice as much time to release the PTS updates and regularly and quickly as we usually do with the PC builds. Then over to the selection criteria. SPC PTS do not require any approval process. Every player who owns the Division 2 on Ubisoft Connect can simply download the PTS client and take part in testing at their own convenience. Console testing requires a selection process which would limit the availability of the PTS to a wider audience. Permitting and prohibiting players access to an application based on a certain set of criteria has the potential to cause disappointment if you are rejected. And then over to the last bit, PC and console differences. The existing disparity between the console and PC builds can usually create a misunderstanding between players. As a result, this can cause a lot of controversy in feedback and sentiment alike, resulting in the team requiring additional time to process community feedback. Lastly, it would be a remiss of us if we did not briefly talk about the one and only PTS we held on console for Division 1. During that PTS, we found that console player specific feedback was fairly limited. In addition to this, what feedback that was provided closely mirrored the feedback given to us by the PTS players on PC. With this in mind, the results we found from the testing period on console fell below expectations. We hope that explains our decision to run the PTS on PC only. We cannot currently make any promises about changing the process in the future, but we sincerely thank everyone participating in the PTS right now. We we'll look forward to hearing more feedback as phase two begins. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the whole explanation of UB Massive and I think this was needed. There were a lot of questions from y'all why it wasn't on console and only on PC and here's your answer of course they did it once with the division one but the feedback wasn't good enough for the hassle they need 
to go through with Sony and or Microsoft. Hopefully this will inform you a lot, but that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course the notification bell. Pure Prime out. <laughs>